After a decent bunch of transfers, Rangers had to kind of go and scupper the start of the new season with Ibrox not being ready. And I think it's just a mess, to be perfectly honest. And we're here to discuss Murrayfield and Hamden because that looks like the only real options that is going to actually happen at this stage of the game, which, yeah, it, it is far from ideal. It's extremely... It, it's ex it, it's just no good enough, man. You want to be starting this. We are looking at the possibility of, like, you know, either playing away from home for, like, five games in a row, potentially, or, you know, the games that count as the home games aren't actually Ibrox because they're at Hamden and they're at, um, or at Murrayfield. Now, what, what would I rather it be at? Obviously, Murrayfield, right? Better stadium, more capacity in there. But Hamden is in Glasgow. Makes much more sense logistics wise um, getting everyone to travel to Edinburgh it just seems like a bit of a nightmare um, again it wouldn't be like it's not like for the entirety of next season I just think if there is going to be a stadium it would be Hamden rather than Murrayfield but I'm not convinced it's even going to be another stadium I think Rangers might just play every league game away from home um, until Ibrox is ready. But then saying that, I look at um, the the Champions League qualifiers, of course. It looks like we will play away first and then home second. And how, how's that going to work then? I, we might have to play at Hamden for, at home for one of the Champions League games. It's a bizarre situation. This should never have been allowed to happen, man. And rightfully... The guy who was in charge of was it the groundsman or whatever, whatever I think it was the groundsman or the, the guy in charge of the the, the the stadium structure manoeuvre thing, right? He's been sacked. I think that's the correct decision. Um, I, I do think that. I mean, this shouldn't have been allowed to happen. I get it. It was a accidents happen, but it's a pretty big accident. You know, shipment delayed for China, and it's going to massively affect the start of this season. With so many unknowns, nobody really knows what's actually happening with Rangers Football Club when it comes to the start of the season. And it's for that reason alone, people deserve to get sacked, and rightfully so. As for the start of the season, well, it's going to affect us. Of course, it is. It's a shipment for China. I believe it's delayed. Um, again, you know, a shipment from China. Was it coming here on a boat? Was it coming here on a plane? How is it delayed? I don't know. If it was coming here on a boat, no wonder it's taken so bloody long. Um, might be here next season. But it's just... It, it's like amateur hour, man. Now that's... You know, the, 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 that's these parts for the part of the stadium, right? The Copeland stand, right? That... That should have been... those. These parts should have been here by the time the season had ended. Or like before the season had ended, ready to you know build. Uh, to me, it's an absolute mess that you actually run it this late. Like I think the part should be there, and I mean, as soon as like the final home game ends, I think that's when work should commence. And now you know you need to start next season strong. We need to not be dropping points. And if you're if you're looking at games away from Ibrox for a month or five away games in a row. Now here, the upside to that is if you come through the five away games like where all wins, it means you're going to have a nice wee run of home fixtures. But I don't know, guys. It just it, it just screams of, I mean, or oh, the banter era. I mean, it kind of does scream of that, and I can't really disagree with it. So yeah, it sucks.